I just want you guys to make sure you watch the last video to learn the details of how you could be part of the 100 subscriber giveaway. And if you haven't seen it already, you need to go watch it because you have a chance to win a prize on my channel once we reach 100 subscribers. But I won't give any more details until that happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What is going on guys and welcome to another video and the big news we got today is that Eddie Lacy signs a one year deal with the Seattle Seahawks. So Eddie Lacy is moving on from Green Bay or Green Bay is moving on from Eddie Lacy vice versa and he's going to be going to the Seattle Seahawks. So Eddie Lacy going to Seattle I think is a great fit. I've always seen Eddie Lacy as kind of a Marshawn Lynch type of running back just a little bit fatter not as athletic because Eddie Lacy you knows had problems with weight in the past few seasons he hasn't been the same since his rookie season and hopefully that he comes back to to the type of level he used to play in his rookie season with the Green Bay Packers he did I think he won offensive rookie of the year that year so he can he can do it he can come back to his uh, old ways I think Seattle is going to be a great place for him he needs a new start because he's been kind of struggling in Green Bay lately anyway he hasn't had the same type of production he used to since his rookie season, like I always said. And it's kind of like Alfred Morris's situation. I mean, but Alfred Morris didn't struggle with weight or anything, and Eddie Lacy gets a new chance in Seattle, and hopefully he doesn't get buried in the backfield like Alfred Morris is. And then there's Thomas Rawls over there. And then an interesting thing is that Seahawks are not done interviewing running backs. This might be the first running back off the market right here. But they are also planning on interviewing Jamal Charles tomorrow, and we will talk about that more later in the video. But I just thought that was interesting, and yeah, here it is. The picture that makes this uh, official NFL posted on their Instagram today, Eddie Lacy is headed to the Seattle Seahawks. So Green Bay uh, Packers have lost quite a few players this offseason. They've lost... They're going to lose Jared Cook. They're going to lose... They already lost TJ Lang, and now Eddie Lacy, and I think there's some other players in there and I think if I could be wrong I think Sam Shields is a free agent I'm not sure if they're not interesting in bringing him back and I honestly uh, think that Green Bay should bring him back because they need cornerback help but you know what what can you do Green Bay doesn't really go after free agents all that often they're more building through the draft type of team which there's nothing wrong with that because obviously they're a pretty damn good team but they could make a uh, some moves by re-signing Sam Shields. I think that would be beneficial to them. But Eddie Lacy to the Seattle Seahawks just makes absolute sense. Will he split carries with Thomas Rawls? I don't know. Then they have CJ Procise over there. So their running game is going to be a little bit tricky on who starts and who gets the majority of carries. Because Thomas Rawls I thought was really good. He's a good running back. And he showed glimpses of being really good when Marshawn Lynch was hurt that one year. I think he did pretty good... Uh, it's last year, too, if it wasn't for his injury. And then CJ Procise is another factor in that backfield. So now they're adding Eddie Lacy to the backfield. And then if, you got to wonder, if they were to sign Jamal Charles, what would they do with the other three? Would they just release CJ Procise or trade him? Or I don't know. Are they going to have four running? Well, I mean, I guess they could have four running backs, but it would be kind of unheard of for them to run all four running backs. So, yeah, here it is. Jamal Charles. Could be headed to Seattle as well. Um, I don't think that would be the best place for Jamal Charles. I think uh, going some, I think a place like Minnesota could be pretty cool for Jamal Charles. Obviously, they need help since they don't have Adrian Peterson anymore. And Adrian Peterson actually uh, interviewed for the Seattle job as well, but he left Seattle without a deal. So Jamal Charles could be beneficial to the Vikings backfield if they were to interview him. And I could actually see that happening no problem because Jamal Charles is still a decent running back. He has struggled with injuries, and hopefully he can remain healthy for at least one season. That way he can show that he can still ball. He can still ball. And then there's there's a, quite a few other running backs on the market. Artavius Murray, I think, is interviewing for the Vikings job. So the running backs are finally getting signed. And... The Cowboys, in my opinion, should 
in fact trade Alfred Morris because he's just buried and he's just wasting his talent there in Dallas and I didn't like when he signed there in the first place obviously because I'm a Redskins fan and I loved Alfred Morris he just struck he was just struggling with us so I kind of understood why they let him go but it kind of sucks because he used to be my favorite running back obviously because he was with us and now Jamal Charles I think the best fit would be Minnesota but or I mean Oakland uh, Oakland could be a good fit for Adrian Peterson or Jamal Charles because Oakland might lose Lartavius Murray to Minnesota or lose him somewhere else. So I think Oakland would be a tremendous fit. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And don't you forget to go check out the other video. That way you can find out how to be a part of the 100 subscriber giveaway because I'm very excited for that opportunity for all of you. It's my way of saying thank you. And as always, guys... Don't forget to subscribe. And this is Crushables. And I'm saying, peace out!